Powered by the resources of Newsmax Networks, this is a Newsmax election special. The midterms you decide 2014. Well, you voted, you decided. Now the results are rolling in. You are in the right place to make sure you don't miss the outcome of America's hottest midterm races. Good evening, and thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Ed Berliner. And I'm J.D. Hayworth. Thank you for joining us for this Newsmax election special, The Midterms You Decide 2014. Our Newsmax network around the country is watching the key races right now. All the key places, too, from Washington, D.C. to New York to South Florida. Our political analysts monitoring every single race. They'll keep tabs on who's pulling ahead, the big upsets, and if, as we all believe may happen, the Republicans are able to do what they haven't been able to pull off in nearly a decade, take control of the Senate. And to get started, let's send things over to John Bogman. He's at our Newsmax election desk. John, bring us up to speed on two key Senate races apparently already decided. Yeah, we have some movement already in those Senate races. J.D. Eds, great to be with you and great to be with everybody at home. Let's start with those races that have already been decided. The GOP has actually won three Senate races already tonight. Mitch McConnell won in Kentucky over Allison Grimes. In South Carolina, both the current sitting senators right now, Lindsey Graham and Tim Scott, have both won their election. For Scott, he gets to finish out the final two years of Jim DeMint's term. Also, there's the first pickup for the GOP. Uh, Congresswoman Shelley Capito Moore, Shelley Moore Capito, has won her Senate race in West Virginia. Also, Governor Nikki Haley easily won re-election in the South Carolina governor's race, and Governor John Kasich has cruised to re-election in Ohio. So that's what we have right now. There's still a lot of poll, uh, information coming in. Polls closing here at 8 o'clock uh, in parts of New Hampshire and uh, South Dakota. Key Senate race in New Hampshire as well. We're keeping an eye on that. So we do have some results coming in. Uh, four of the Senate seats have been decided so far. A couple governor's races as well. So that's the perspective here from the newsroom. We we'll also have uh, some other perspective. Tim Colley, the managing editor of Newsmax.com is standing by at our Boca Raton editorial offices. And Tim, we were talking about that Kentucky Senate race. Were you, were you uh, surprised, rather, how quickly that was decided tonight? Uh, a little bit surprised about how quickly it was, but we saw the trend lines going for McConnell as far out as a week or two ago. Um, he was just simply running a great campaign, and she was not. She had that trip up mm. earlier in the month. When she was talking about, she wouldn't even tell anybody who she voted for in the last election. So I think Allison Lundgren and Grimes just didn't come across as strong enough to take on the McConnell machine in Kentucky. And that's the way it appears. We know McConnell spent a lot of money there at the last uh, couple weeks of the campaign, but that certainly was money well spent because he won this one going away. And also, we know the GOP now has a net gain of one seat so far. They need six to regain control of the Senate. So that's what we have right now. We'll keep checking with Tim. We'll also check in with our social media team here at Max Cafe. They have a different dimension on our coverage here, so make sure you check that out on Newsmax.com as well. For now, we'll send it back to J.D. and Ed in the studio with more as we continue our coverage here on Newsmax TV. And Ed, so much is going on already. It appears, based on some exit polling that we've seen from the other networks, that we could have a major surprise tonight in the U.S. Senate. Ed Gillespie, who I got to know when he was uh, chief of staff to Dick Armey uh, in the House of Representatives, later went on to become chairman of the Republican National Committee. Ed Gillespie, as the Republican nominee for the U.S. Senate, is poised to pull a huge upset tonight on Senator Mark Warner, the former governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia. This race was essentially on nobody's radar screen. Uh, polling had uh, the incumbent Warner up by double digits. If this in fact changes hands, and we should caution there is a long way to go with polls closing in Virginia, but if some of the exit polling is true, some of the early reporting we've seen, it is absolutely neck and neck and that may rank as the first major surprise tonight as we take a look at the realignment of the U.S. Senate. And interesting to know, too, that in the McConnell issue, uh, the McConnell race it was called, it was only 3% of the actual vote that was in by the time it was called by several of the networks just a little bit after 7 o'clock. So they know which precincts they're looking at, which areas they're looking at. So you can expect a lot of these races to be called very early here on the East Coast. Well, if if, if someone has the momentum and the money, and it's, it may not be restricted to the East Coast, a certain Senate race in which I was involved in 2010, once, once the polls closed in Arizona, instantaneously the networks uh, announced that uh, 
that my opponent had won the primary, the incumbent Senator John McCain. So I've been on both sides of, the, of this thing. It's not especially good when you're a candidate thinking you've been working all night and suddenly the races are called so quickly. Now you get to sit back a little bit and enjoy. Now I, I guess it, it's, <laughs> now I get to say to others what, what happened to me, I guess. Should have said, all right, here's what you didn't do. By the way, we also want to tell you about some of the other people who will be joining us as the night goes on here. John Gizzi here for Newsmax. He is inside the Beltway. John will be joining us from Washington because there's going to be an awful lot of reaction action there. In New York, of course, Steve Mulsberg is there, host of the Steve Mulsberg Show. I don't know if Steve is joining us right now at this moment. No, he's not, but he will be joining us. And also joining us in the next segment after we take a break here in a short time, uh, political strategist Dick Morris will be joining us a little bit later on. So the biggest player in all this is, of course, you, the voter. That's why we're letting your voice be heard live on air tonight, social media as well, a big part of what we are doing because you're the one who is out there voting today. We need to hear a little bit more about what you're doing. And when we return, our Newsmax new media specialists are in our exclusive Max Cafe. They'll give you a closer look at the big races trending right now. You can talk with them all night long using hashtag YouDecide2014. And Republican strategist and pollster Kellyanne Conway will join us live as well. Again, we are all over the midterms here from Washington to the West Coast to the South. And there's some fun races that we're going to watch here as the night goes on as well, J.D. So, I mean, buckle up because we're all going to go here and we're going to find out exactly what you are telling us as far as social media is concerned. We're going to take a break, come back on the other side. And when we do, we'll start to dig into some of our analysts and find out exactly what's happening right here as you decide the midterms 2014.